There's the business end. 12 gauge threaded barrel. Fiber optic front sight. Nice lengthy handguard. AK platform. This is the Cheetah 12 being brought in by SDS Imports just in time for the Vepers getting uh, blocked. So if you can't get a Saiga, you can't get a Vepper, the Cheetah 12 might be your answer. We'll take a look at this gun coming up next on GB Guns. So the Cheetah 12, manufactured in China, which if this were anything but a firearm, I would want to question. But one thing China is definitely known for is making great AKs. Except Saiga 12 magazines. These are the magazines that came with it that actually have the metal reinforcement on the back of them. Five rounders, but uh, larger ones are available, of course. Nice tapering at the bottom of the magazine there. Swells out to make grabbing it easy. Show clear. There you go. Left side charging handle, which is nice. I was a Vepper 12 guy. Used a Vepper 12 in 3-gun and shot the snot out of my Vepper 12. Now I kind of wish that uh, I hadn't because you can't get them anymore. These are available. This is ready to be shot. So we've got that fiber optic front sight, which is different. Full length hunting style handguard. Reinforced receiver. Good and solid. I'll give you AK snobs a chance to check out the rivets. All look pretty clean to me. Nice long magazine release. Takes a standard AK pistol grip. And our buttstock appears to be on a buffer tube with a peep rear sight. Safety is AR style on both sides of the gun, which is pretty cool. I dig the left, left side charging handle, makes operating these things a whole lot easier. Let's field strip this and take so a look field at stripping, that. just like any other AK. It does have one of these retention buttons here. So you gotta bring that down and push in and lift up on the top cover. Here's that rear peep sight, by the way. It is adjustable. You notice how wide this opens, that's to clear 12 gauge shells and the guide rod the operating rod has this extra shield here that helps keep the action sealed when it's forward and at rest uh, but of course reciprocates with the bolt we do have a rubber buffer i've heard lots of people tell lots of rumors about these rubber buffers guys i've done a lot of shooting and i've never had one come apart on me i'm not saying that they don't come apart Maybe I've just been lucky and every one that I've bought has been a good one, but uh, I've never had an issue with it. Interesting here too, you see these pegs, those line up in the top cover. It's an extra bit of security to keep the top cover on. They really don't want it coming off between that lock there and those pegs. Take a look at our bolt and carrier. It doesn't have the multiple cuts in it for different volumes of gas, like on the Vepra 12. We'll have to see what loads this likes and doesn't like. There's our nice big beefy bolt face. Spring-loaded firing pin. That's good for helping prevent slam fires, which on a 12 gauge you would definitely want to, help, want to prevent. Contours here are nice and smooth. In fact, I dare say this is a bit smoother looking than uh, my Vepra was. And of course, Vepras are unquestioned as the ultimate in Russian guns. Just like uh, with every other industry, sometimes that means that uh, people haven't been paying attention. Looking at our trigger group, single hook setup. down into the chamber. Nice clean construction. 
Not a lot of excess, good thick walls on the receiver. This has some promise to it. What do you guys think? It's been a while since we've seen something new really come out in the 12 gauge AK scene. I remember they were big when I picked up my Vepper um, 2011, 2012. They were over a grand then. Uh, this should be on the street for around 600, which is a whole lot cheaper. And uh, just love the utility of being able to rock a 12 gauge as if it were a rifle. I mean, you fill this thing with slugs and you've got yourself a pretty darn big rifle. Tell me below, what are you thinking on this thing? And we'll get it out to the range as soon as we can. Our regular range won't let us shoot anything but slug. And while we will certainly run slugs through this, we want to run a variety of loads. So we'll be driving out to the woods to do our testing there. Hey, thanks for watching GB Guns. If you've waited this long, you either appreciate what we're doing, or you're trying to formulate some type of argumentative con comment and uh, get the fight going. Either way, click the big griffin up here to subscribe and see our upcoming videos. Don't forget, by the way, to click on that little bell thing. That gives you notification, lets you know when there's a new video. Down here is the link for our Patreon. Google revenues have cut. Those covered most of our ammo costs and expenses. If you subscribe to Patreon, you get a sneak peek at some of our videos before they go out to the general public. Those of you doing $10 or more a month do get one of our GB Guns patches. These are quite limited because this stuff's expensive. Up here is a video that Google suggests you like based on your watching history. I don't know if it's any good or not. You tell me. And then down here is the playlist most relevant to the video you just watched. Keep in mind, some of these videos fit in more than one playlist. I select one, that's what gets there. But uh, anyways, that's the way the channel works, and thanks again for watching.